What's up gamers? So today we're going to help our new gamers that are introduced to Henkaku on firmware 3.60 or maybe there are some gamers that do not have a PSP or mini game to install Arc and Adrenaline. Well these tools will be great for you. So today we're going to be installing the Vita Homebrew Browser, Arc and Adrenaline with ePSP Bubble Installer and Adrenaline AC Installer. What we will need is a PlayStation Vita on firmware 3.60 with Hankaku installed. You're also going to need Vita Shell installed or Molecular Shell. We're going to need the Vita HB Browser VPK. As for the installation, we're going to go get the Vita HB Browser VPK. The link will be in the description and we're going to be installing it. Now we're going to be downloading some utilities and we're going to be installing a pretty cool theme. We will test and see if the bubbles work, so wait for the example. As always, the links will be in the description. And remember to check my Twitter. Enjoy gamers! So now I have connected my uh, PlayStation Vita via USB, so I'm going to launch Vita Shell. I'm going to press select. As you can see, my computer has detected my PlayStation Vita since I'm using the most recent Vita show. So I already downloaded the uh, VPK for the browser. So as you can see, I just copied it in there. And now I'm going to install it. So if you agree to that message, install it. It should take a moment. Okay, now that we have that installed, let's say that you just barely installed Hankaku. So let's go ahead and launch our Vita Homebrew browser. So as you can see, you can get like emulators for the PlayStation Vita. So we're gonna go to utilities. Just browse through there, it's pretty cool. A lot of tools. A good tool would be Henkaku Offline Installer to have. That way if you don't have internet access you can always install Henkaku. We're going to be using the EPSP Bubble Installer, so download it. Another good tool. Also Arc Fast. Another good utility and or tool. So we can install our Arc. Custom Themes Manager. This is pretty good. You can see the Wololo app, Vitamin, My Dumb Tool. A good one is Vita Toolbox. Now we're going to select Adrenaline EC Installer. So you can get as much homebrew as you want. Okay, so you can see I have my utilities already installed. So we're just going to test them out. I'm going to be installing a theme. And I just selected a random theme, but I think it was one of the best. It has like a background music also. I liked it a lot. So I would recommend it too. As you can see we're gonna press the X to download this custom theme. So just take a moment, download it, and then we're going to press start so that we can install it to our database. So let's pressing start, doesn't take that long. And then we're gonna press any button to go to the main menu. Now let's go to settings and install that theme. And we go to theme, then we're going to select the theme we just downloaded and it's going to change our system theme. Now we're going to go to system. A little tip, go to auto start settings and deselect. Do not have that little checkbox cleared. The download update file to the system software. We don't want that. So just take it out. I want to show you guys that I'm on 3.60. Okay, so that's all we need as you can see the 
pretty cool theme. It has some music background into it, and it's pretty cool too. Now we're going to be launching the EPSP bubble installer. Now you just press X to install one bubble. So what it will do, it will restart the PlayStation Vita. You can see our new theme as well. So it will be installing the new bubble for us. You can see it's right in there. We'll be using that bubble to install Arc and Adrenaline. But remember to install Hankaku again. So go molecular shell and select install or go to the website. So I'm going to launch my EPSP bubble again. So I'm going to create additional bubbles because I need one more for the adrenaline. So to duplicate bubbles, just press X. And then it's going to give you a warning. Do not delete the duplicate bubbles manually. To delete some cloned EPSP bubbles, use this tool really important guys so we're gonna press triangle and then we're gonna select how many bubbles in this case I press two I only needed one more so you can press select one more so and then it's going to say do you want to replicate that EPSP bubble two times if we say yes press X so then our PlayStation Vita will restart again after doing the duplicates so just remember to install Hankaku again you can see we have our duplicate bubbles now we're going to launch our arc tool arc installer as you can see it reads all the PlayStation games that you have in there or the PSP or PSP minis so if you want to install arc in an official PSP game I would recommend it but if you don't have any PSP game then use those clones bubbles and then we're gonna press X let's say if you don't have no PSP games installed so use that clone so then we're gonna launch it we get a little warning install arc in the game and then we're gonna get the game number It'll take a moment to so just be patient. Do not touch the PlayStation Vita. And then it's going to give us an alert that the PlayStation will restart. And to remember to activate Hankaku again. So we press X. And it will restart our system. You can see I sped up the video as much as I could. So you guys don't be waiting that long. can see if you don't have Hankaku installed there's Arc already but the bubble will not launch it'll say to go download the game at the PlayStation Store or but we don't want that we want everything for free right so go to uh, molecular shell and click on the install button or go to the website again so we select our clone bubble you can see that Arc is fully working that's why I was saying if you install it on an official PSP game or PSP Mini, you'll be able to run Arc even though uh, we don't we don't have Hankaku. But in this case, if you don't have anything, then it's fine. So we're gonna launch our Adrenaline PC installer, and we're going to install Adrenaline. Now you have your clone. As you can see, I have other PSP games. But let's say if you don't have any, on the other clone we'll go ahead and install Adrenaline. And it'll give us another warning if you want to continue and install this. We select yes. So as you can see you don't need no computer. Well, you only need it to just transfer the, the browser, the homebrew browser for the beta. And it should be fine. So it'll ask us to reboot the PlayStation Vita by pressing X. You can see Adrenaline. If I launch it, I don't have Hankaku. It won't let me go through. So remember to install Hankaku again. Then once we open it, we install Adrenaline. As you can see, 
we already have Adrenaline and Arc installed. So that's pretty cool guys. It's awesome. We don't need anything. I think it's super easy. So there you have it guys. If it helped, let me know. If it worked for you, hit like, subscribe. As always, Gamers Reverse, out.